What's going on? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can open up a logic file that doesn't seem like it wants to open. So for me, last couple of weeks, I've been trying to open certain sessions, important sessions as well, like client mixes and custom beats and stuff like that. So you can imagine the frustration because obviously they're waiting for their, for their music. So there's a couple of things you can do that I've tried that I have been using to open these sessions. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. But before we jump into that video, I want to quickly shout out my, my two newest subscribers, Alphabet and Leafy Beats. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate you both. Hope you've hit the notification bell as well so you got notified when this video dropped and future videos. Favorite comment coming from Mikko Beats. Bro, thank you, I appreciate that comment. That was gonna, that's all gonna come in time, and I appreciate your support, I appreciate you being here now, and being part of the journey. Right, let's get into this video, and show you how you can open up these Logic projects. What we're gonna do, open up the session, but we're gonna bypass the plugins, then we're gonna go and search for the plugin that's giving us the problem, and remove it. You'll know what plugin's giving the problem, because when you're trying to open the session, you see the plugin that's causing the problem, so that's the one we're gonna go in and search for, and get rid of. So to disable the plugins, you need to double click the session, and then hit control on your keypad straight after. Hold it for about 15 seconds. A box is gonna pop up saying, don't launch or launch. We're gonna hit don't launch, let Logic think about it. It's gonna open up. As you can see, all the plugins have been disabled, no plugins working. Find the plugin that's giving you the problem. You're just going to choose this one for this tutorial. Take that out. Then you're going to go to preferences, audio. And we're going to we're going to disable core audio. And then we're going to enable it again. And then hit apply changes. Let Logic think about it. Once it's done that, all the plugins will be enabled. Then we're going to save the project as a new name. Next time you open up, there should be no problems at all with that session. File, save as, give it a new name. Quick Logic. Double click your new session and it should just open with no problems. And we're in. All done. Project saved. That there saved me so much time and headache. Like I said in the beginning, I've been working on, on clients' mixes and custom beats and I thought I thought everything was lost. I panicked. That little trick there saved my life. Hope it saves you, hope it gives you some value. If you wanna hit me up on Instagram, ask me any questions, feel free to do that. DMs are always open. If you like this video at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.